I finally did it. I finally got a Kindle. I feel like so many of the book girlies have a Kindle and I was one of those people, I love physical books so much that I couldn't see myself being an ebook reader. A couple of months ago, it kind of hit me that I read a lot of books throughout the month. Financially, it just made a lot of sense to get a Kindle and then get the Kindle Unlimited. That saves on so much money and it just makes so much sense for me personally. I am so excited. We have to go ahead and open it. Oh, these are baby bibs. They're for my friend. I got the Kindle Paperwhite. This has adjustable warm light. It's 16 gigabytes and this is in the agave green. The normal retail price for this is $149.99 I believe and it was on sale on Amazon. So I got such a good deal on it. It's beautiful. I've never had a Kindle before. I've never had an e-reader. When I was in middle school, my mom got, I don't think it was a Kindle, I think it was a Nook. And I remember when we'd go on vacations, I would like download a couple of books on there and it was just, I really enjoyed it. Hi. I have so many Kindle accessories, so we're gonna decorate it. It's gonna be so cute. I just turned it on. This is what it looks like. So it has the Kindle home screen. It also comes in a denim color in black. I wish it came in white, but I love the green. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. It's actually so much brighter than I thought it would be. I opted for 16 gigabytes because I'd rather have too many gigabytes than too little. The price difference was like five bucks. So it, it was just too good of a deal, you know? This is the 11th generation. Okay, so now it's just welcoming me. And I don't know what this is. I really want to do this Kindle Unlimited. Basically, from the research that I've done, it's the subscription. You get three months free, which is, yes. It's $11.99 a month afterwards, which this is definitely something I want to do because with Kindle Unlimited, you get as many books as you want to read a month. And that's just like a no-brainer for me personally. So let me know if any of you guys have the Kindle Unlimited subscription. I would love to know how you're enjoying it. Oh my gosh, we're here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It says, introducing the Kindle experience. So I'm going to watch this really quick, figure out all the settings and everything, and I'll come back. It has my audiobooks right here, which is really cool. Wait, how do I swipe? Oh, it just needs a minute to think. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So I basically swipe and then it like takes a minute if you see that. I really want to go through, pick out a couple of books that I've had my eye on that I didn't want to pull the trigger and like actually buy. So before we do that, I think we should decorate the Kindle because just holding it here, I've almost dropped it a couple of times. So I would definitely recommend a case. I do have the ad one. I saw where you can pay like 20 bucks to get them to take the ads off, which is a really good idea. I will have everything linked down below in my Amazon storefront if any of you guys want some of these accessories. I just got a clear... So I bought the wrong case. It was supposed to be all clear, but this is like a weird frosted thing on here. I think I'm going to keep it though. I got the clear case so that I could decorate it with really cute stickers and I'm actually not going to stick these to my Kindle. I'm just going to place them right underneath this clear cover so that way you can see through and like it's not going to be a permanent thing stuck on my Kindle. It's really hard to see but I have these three cute little like they're little coffees and they're different shades of pink and they're just so cute. I have this really cute one that says good things are coming. This one says book lover. Of course I had to get this Starbucks coffee one. And then I have some cute flowers just to make it very summery. So I wanted very summery stickers. I think I want to get like some beachy ones for the summer and then I definitely want some cute ones on Etsy. But they were kind of expensive and I just bought a Kindle so I was like 
I'll wait and stick with the stickers that I have lying around everywhere. I got these three from a local boutique and then I got the book lover one from Threaded by Sabrina whenever I ordered the sweatshirts. She sent a sticker along with it and then the other two are just some stickers that come along with my calendar or like my planner every year. Wait, are you kidding? This is so cute. The only thing is the little coffees, they're just like going everywhere. So I don't know. It's I feel like it could still work though. It's kind of a little crazy. The green and the pink look so good. So now I have one more accessory. I got this super cute pop socket from Target. You can also get it on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. It's kind of hard to tell. It's white with flowers on it. I don't know if you can really tell. It's basically white on white, but it is so cute. I thought it was very neutral. It would look really pretty on the case, especially with the green, because I think the green is really pretty. I've seen a lot of girls say make sure you hold your Kindle naturally to see where the pop socket should go So I'm trying to see what's natural for me. Oh My gosh, that's perfect. Look how cute that is, too I feel like I should move one of these stickers up here. Look at the coffee. Okay I moved the stickers around a little bit. This is the best I'm gonna get with these weird coffee ones, but I'm excited to keep getting cute stickers I want more bookish stickers. So you guys let me know what shop you like shopping your stickers from I also have this little love letter pouch. I actually made this for Akatar, my first Akatar book, and I absolutely love it. I think it's so cute. It's a little too big for the Kindle, but I want to make another one that's smaller so I can just carry it around with me. Okay, I'm going to go back on the Kindle and kind of peruse, see what they've got. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. They have Happy Place on here. They have so many good books. Okay, I've noticed right where it has the book down here in the corner, it'll say if it's Kindle Unlimited or not. So I don't know if there are only a select few that are a part of the Kindle Unlimited, which the fine print's on there. So that's good to know because I just got that. Part of your world, when in Rome. <gasps> I have that book. I've heard that this hooks up to your Goodreads as well. Okay, here is the store. I'm gonna go to Kindle Unlimited and see what they have over there in the Kindle store. Oh, wow. They have a lot of really popular books. A lot of romance. Oh, the, the Serpents in the Wings of Night. Okay, wait, the wing. Oh my gosh, I can read this on my Kindle. I actually really want the physical copy of it because I love the cover but that's still really good to know. How do you go back? Okay, so also at the top, you can go to settings and you can change the brightness. Right now I have it on 18. This is the highest brightness, so that's actually, that's super, super bright, which I like. And then you can do warmth. So right now the warmth is zero. Ooh, so that's it getting warmer. Oh yeah, you can like totally see a difference there. <sighs> I found the search bar! Okay, there's this one book that I saw and I saved because it sounded really good. I don't know much about it though. It's called Marriage for One. And that's what it looks like. The old covers are killing me. Oh my gosh, why? Okay, so if I were to buy it, it's $4.99. Not bad, not bad. And then let's see if there's a way that I can add it to my like flag it or something, you know? There's an option right here that says add to list. So I can add it to the list that I have on my Amazon. So I'm gonna add it to my book wish list, which I have listed underneath every single video. So you guys can kind of see too what I wanna read. There is another one that I've been wanting to read. It's called Hard Living. It's an enemies to lovers rock star romance. It just sounds so good and so funny. I saw it on TikTok and I can pre-order it, which I think I want to do. Okay, I'm going to add this to my wish list as well. In case you guys are wanting to read it too, this is what it looks like on Kindle. I am really into Sarah Adams, so I want to look into more of her stuff wow so this is everything that comes up for sarah adams there is a lot the x talk oh that would be fun to read oh okay so you can go up here to the top and click kindle unlimited to see what is included in it 
Oh my gosh, that's perfect. All of the ones that I don't own by her are Kindle Unlimited. Thank you. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh, I can read so many of her books. For an example, I am going to do the off limits rule. I'm gonna click read now so we can actually see what a book looks like. I feel like a lot of romance books I'll probably read on my Kindle. And then for fantasy, I just love my fantasy books. That is my favorite genre. I feel like I'll actually want a physical copy to display as a trophy. Oh. My gosh, that is so cute. So this is what it looks like. I know there are different features. So you just tap in this corner and it changes the page, which is super cool. Okay, so then to kind of zoom out, I scrolled down and you can do a big overview. It'll also show you your progress, which is really cool. I'm just going to highlight a random word. So I just hold down on dried It'll underline it and then it tells me the definition and I can highlight it, I can note it so you can annotate, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So now you just go back to home in the corner and I guess you can go back to everything. The really cool thing about Kindle is you can hook up to your Goodreads, you can hook up to Audible. So I am really excited to have all of this in one place. And also I think this is going to help me to read different things that I normally wouldn't because I mean, books are expensive and a lot of times there are books that I think I would like, but I don't want to commit to it. And I especially don't want to pay like almost 20 bucks for a book that I might hate. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. This is going to help me branch out and challenge me more. Where did my sticker go? Oh, my stickers are not staying right here. I switched the stickers around because these just keep floating around, which I'm fine with, but I feel like I like the Starbucks one up here, and then I'm gonna add a couple of bookish ones just to really fill it up, but I like this for now. I love the combination with the pink stickers and then the green Kindle. I think it looks so cute and so summery. Maybe I can find one that has like waves or something. That'd be cute. That is my Kindle Unlimited. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Was, they're doing the trash right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'm so excited. I just put it to my ear. Let me know if you have a Kindle, what you think about it. And I will see you in my next video. I'm going to go down to the pool and read.